I thought about watching this the other night, but I don't want to watch how many dang episodes are there? 11, 12, 13, 14? Stop, stop, stop. What are we even doing here? Well, I've had such a busy week with all of my work and uh, making canned fish files and everything that I've decided to treat myself to a little bit of TV time. That's right, I'm going to fire up the old Amazon, um, you know, fire screedly D, and we're gonna look at Netflix. It makes this noise. Who's watching Netflix? My wife, Andrea. That's my wife. First of all, what happens is um, it starts playing something, you know? And um, it's just, uh, whatever, that was Unsolved Mysteries. That's like Andrea's favorite show. She loves watching it. And I guess it's trending. Number three in the US today. People just can't get enough of true crime. Total Recall. I've heard a lot of these movies. A lot of these I know. I know. I know. I know Jeopardy. I know Gilmore Girls. I know War Games. I've heard of these. I think I watched I watched Moneyball very late at night one night. I couldn't sleep, so I watched Moneyball. Uh, it was okay. I think I watched Back to the Future. Did I watch this? Yeah, I did, it was months ago. So we don't really look at Netflix that often in this household. I'm completely into YouTube. That's all I watch. Um, uh, Mystery Science Theater. The, this is the new one that Netflix made. Um, we enjoyed it. They selected really good uh, movies to do. Um, and the cast is okay too. Like, I don't know why we would have watched. Oh, these aren't in chronological order. I'm sorry. See, this is confusing for me because I thought, I thought like, oh my God, like we've watched all these things. Well, like, why did we watch The Walking Dead after we saw Tiger King? Remember when everybody watched Tiger King? That was like kind of the first thing we all had together during the lockdown. So anyway, critically acclaimed films. Now that sounds, that sounds okay to me, you know? We got Glory. I've never seen Glory. That's the kind of movie, Glory is the kind of movie that I would watch on an airplane. What I do on an airplane is I put on a critically acclaimed film from usually like the early 90s or late 80s. That's just the era of film that I like looking at. It must be a nostalgia thing. And, um, and I'll watch it without the sound. <sighs> so I don't want to watch any of these. Movies are hard for me to commit to because they just, they take such a long time. When my wife and I are trying to decide what kind of movie that we're gonna watch, a lot of the time, we're just like 88 minutes sold. You know, you tell me that your movie is um, more than two hours long and you know, life's too short, right? Um, Squeedle, Deedle, Soldier, Spy, sure. Okay, never seen Mean Streets. What are these witty TV shows? Uh, I've enjoyed comedies, but I tend to not pursue them. Uh, to me, humor is where you find it. Gosh, I'm just gonna turn the sound off because after a while, you just... I really wish they wouldn't play the, the trailers automatically. I realize they kind of have to because that that must work. They must they must know that people are more likely to watch things, watch things that they enjoy and not cancel their subscriptions if they auto play the trailers. Like where uh, my, the cursor is, like where the movie that is high lit is not necessarily where my eye is going. I'm actually when I've gone to a row, by the time the row slides into view, I have seen all of the movies here. And so when I'm pressing right to cycle through the movies, I'm looking over here. So if you're playing a trailer for here, it's just a, it's just a distraction because I'm thinking about here. I don't know. I don't think I'm weird. I think this is kind of what's happening to 
everybody, and I know they do a lot of focus grouping, but I wonder if they do any kind of like eye tracking to really understand the, uh, the attention of people. And I understand that this is, I'm using this on the Amazon Fire Stick, so not all the different apps that play Netflix are, are going to work the same way, but um, I don't know, that's free advice, Netflix, you know? It's free, that's a free one. You give me about a million dollars a year, imagine what I could tell you. I have always found it peculiar that the language that they use to suggest things based on stuff that you've watched is because you watched Star Trek The Next Generation. It's like, hey, because you went ahead and did that, you, you gone and done it. You, you done watched Star Trek, so I guess it's up to us to pipe in you know, a bunch of this other sci-fi garbage that you like, like Star Trek Voyager. Who watches that? Second worst Star Trek? Oh no, no, it's, no, 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 it's probably um, third or fourth worst Star Trek, I guess. Uh, we've got Another Life, which um, Netflix must have made this. This looks super expensive. It's got What's Her Face from Who Do You Do? Um, a mysterious alien object, a perilous mission. A gutsy crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Better than us? I thought about watching this the other night, but I don't want to watch how many dang episodes are there? So many, so many. Probably just 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Stop, stop, stop. Um, la, 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 la. La. Comedies. Yeah, we're not gonna do comedies. We're not gonna do suspenseful movies. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like stuff that stresses me out. I can stress myself out. That's why I never watched like Breaking Bad. I'm like, oh my God, this is a terrible situation for this man. I don't care how good it is, you know? Man, I think I've gone all the way through their thing. Gosh, my little finger's getting tired of clicking on the remote here, and I still haven't found anything to watch, even though I think we all knew that that was just a gag, so I'd have an excuse to do this video. But as always, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for enjoying this non-canned fish content. But we're gonna get back to sardines, sprats, mackerel, cod liver, crackers, etc. because the cans are starting to pile up. And if you like this kind of thing, I've got this playlist called Matt's Miscellany, which will provide you with hours of whatever. And while you're at it, subscribe. Every time I see that someone's subscribed, my heart grows one size.